Hi, welcome to my channel again. My name is Chris. Uh, if this is your first time visiting my channel, please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to my channel for more uh, interesting news and conversation. Um, but today, I'm going to be talking. I'm going to be talking to you about uh, the coronavirus and why it caused a global panic. So stick around. So the five reasons why coronavirus is causing global panic. Well, the Wuhan virus, coronavirus, COVID-19, or as one person calls it, the Chinese virus. Words that you have no doubt heard many times over the past four to five months since its outbreak uh, was first reported in China on the 31st of December 2019, as both its name and our understanding of the uh, deadly virus continue to develop and whether or not we should be as worried as some people think. So, starting with number one, its pandemic status. Well, it's been official that, you know, the WHO has officially declared the coronavirus as a pandemic. But, what does that actually mean? Well, simply put, a disease is given a pandemic status when it's spread around the world and there is not yet any cure or immunity for it. So the governments are allotted and must make sure that their health systems are prepared to handle patients suffering from this disease. Now, declaring a pandemic has been thought to cause unnecessary panic in the past, as with the uh, H1N1 virus, aka swine flu, um, when the government was uh, vastly overspent antiviral medication and emergency departments became overwhelmed. Now, number two, it's not the first time throughout the history. There have been many different types of pandemic, the worst of which was the bubonic plague, referred to as the Black Death, uh, which wiped out an estimated of 200 million people between the year of 1347 and 1351. Now, other pandemics, uh, which are still currently ongoing, including HIV or AIDS and MARS, what makes the coronavirus different from those, however, is that it is much easier to transfer from one person to another. That being said, the majority of people who have caught coronavirus have recovered within six days, uh, displaying only minor symptoms. Whereas HIV and MARS are more often deadly if contracted. Reason number three, there's no cure yet. One of the things which make uh, the current outbreak so scary is the fact that there is not yet a cure for it. It can, um, it can also take days or even weeks to diagnose and testing kits are often in short supply. As we know, the United States is in that situation right now. Um, but the term coronavirus actually describe a family of viruses that range from uh, a common cold to the more severe Mars. Now, which can be very, very fatal. So, the COVID-19 uh, strain of coronavirus had not been identified in humans uh, prior to 2019. As of now, in April 2020, it is thought to have been responsible uh, for the death of up to 233,000 people uh, with over 3.26 million of cases being registered globally. Now, doctors and scientists are of course working hard to come up with the cure and are hopeful of doing so soon. We can at least take a solace in the fact that the virus has received worldwide attention and we have the technology to analyze and come up with the best chance of eliminating it. We are no longer living in dark ages, uh, having to deal with the bubonic plague. Now, number four, travel bans and high profile patients. Some of the diseases are confined to a certain climate, uh, less likely affecting some people, 
but the coronavirus is far reaching now and has resulted in some extreme countermeasures. As a result, travel between uh, many of the worst hit countries uh, such as China, South Korea, uh, Singapore uh, have been restricted or banned altogether. Now, the city of Wuhan in China, where the disease is thought to have originated, was initially quarantined entirely. And now, we can see in the United States uh, taking some precaution to prevent further outbreak. It might be a little bit too late, but we're taking the precaution, yes. The coronavirus has disrupted countless public events in 2020. Music concerts have been cancelled and in sports such as basketball and football, I have seen their professional leagues uh, suspend play until further notice after some players you know, tested positive for COVID-19. Even some top celebrity have tested positive with COVID-19. Now, with the coronavirus constantly in the news and it seemingly affecting almost every, everything and everyone, it's no wonder people are panicking. Now, number five, panic, buying, create chaos. Advice from the WHO include practicing good hygiene and maintaining a distance from others, especially if you are feeling unwell. Unfortunately, some people have taken this uh, to the extreme and started to stockpiling everything, uh, from hand sanitizer, uh, face masks, to toilet papers. Maybe at this moment, perhaps people have realized uh, or came up to an understanding that toilet paper is not the cure to COVID-19. This has led to a shortage of, thing, of these items in some stores, with people either having to go without or pay ridiculous prices to buy goods from private sellers. Some online retailers uh, have prevented selling those uh, items altogether in an effort to stop the panic buying and prevent stockpiling from the uh, strategy pirates, I should call them, who are looking to make a few bucks out of a bad situation like this. Now, are you worried about the coronavirus? Or do you think that people are overreacting? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Also, you can find a link uh, to a helpful advice um, and updates about the coronavirus from the WHO uh, website in the description below. Well, show your support by liking, uh, by liking and sharing this video. Subscribe to my channel for more interesting news and conversation. Thank you for watching and see you next time.